So to speak directly to the entrepreneurs, business owners, and how do you transition into the I quadrant, investors quadrant, is it can be challenging because you're working so hard on your business, and that's been my situation mm -hmm. over the last three, four years, working really hard to become that full business owner and building a business that I could have full, full control of. But at the same time, the challenge becomes having the time to learn about the investment strategies. Mm -hmm. Um, I've been doing it over the years, uh, here and there, as I had time over the last 10 years, and then come to find out that you've been pretty hard at it, actually, for the last three years, mm -hmm. and I didn't even realize to what an extent that you've been going, you know, pretty hardcore into this information, sure. because it's going to have a very significant impact on people's lives. Time is of the essence. Time <laughs> is of the essence, and yeah. you know, and that really kind of becomes the challenge is, is balancing that all out to keep working on your business, which we do implore you to do, but time is of the essence, and to learn about this information that you've mm -hmm. put together. Um, we're going to go into it in kind of a, a quick overview, because you've definitely got that in a much deeper format mm -hmm. um, coming up here shortly. But I think a lot of it stems around the whole understanding of wealth, uh, how wealth is created, how mm -hmm. wealth is transferred, how wealth is accumulated, and especially as you put this information together that's really unique, that I really am impressed mm -hmm. with, is you put this together with entrepreneurs in mind, mm -hmm. that they do have a different mindset, it's not your average citizen or employee, if you will. Sure. Entrepreneurs tend to be much, much more proactive. They're mm -hmm. visionaries, independent. Um, independent. They can absorb information. Well, they're more open-minded. Mm -hmm. And so I think here definitely with the information that you've put together, um, I know as you break this down in a factual way, we're going to go first into the understanding of currency mm -hmm. um, and to really understand cycles that really, that's what history is about, is mm -hmm. understanding the cycles of currency and then knowing how to act on that. And so I'd like, if you could, um, so that people can help take context of everything that's happening. We've got uh, boomers have lost 30 to 40 percent of their retirement funds, mm -hmm. which is, you know, causing many people to come back into the workforce who are planning to retire and now are not able to. Um, we've got inflation. Uh, we've got um, uh, unemployment now upwards of 20%. Mm -hmm. Some are projecting. I think the government tends to have it a lower stat just to yeah. kind of hide the reality of things. So, But to really delve into the history of currency, I think both of us being students of history, yeah. when you understand history, you can understand the future and in that way better take actions that are going to help uh, bring about the desired outcome that you Absolutely. are shooting for. Yeah. 